Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wolf Tutorials, I'm Koichi GZ, and in this video we are going to go over the updates for February 17th, so we got some new stuff uh, added to the new event, so Dragon Quest 3, so the uh, Jipang uh, Gaiden, so side story. So here going to our notices section, you're going to see a couple of new things, so the first one you're going to see is right here, we're going to have the return of the Kandata uh, banner. So that's going to feature Kandata's uh, main weapon, uh, the Tomahawk. So um, that has the main skill of uh, Kobun Ram, uh, Rambai, Rambu, Rambu, uh, Kombu Rambu. So um, that's going to be a minion dance. So that's um, one where you see the minions come out and they like attack the enemy. So um, this is pretty much what it's going to look like uh, for male and female characters or type 1, type 2 characters if you've never seen it before. So this is going to be um, the main weapon, so the Kandata Tomahawk. So um, this weapon is actually uh, okay. Um, in times where I did not have a lot of Jabadi weapons, this was one of the ones that I did use. So it's actually a uh, tomahawk, which is an axe, of course, but this is actually considered a boomerang. So um, this is going to be uh, the Kandaka mask. So it's going to give you plus 5% to Jabadi damage, plus 10% uh, damage to Zoma, plus 10% damage to Baramos. Then here with the uh, muscle body, plus 3% Jibaria damage, plus 20% uh, Zoma resistance, plus 5 uh, to uh, max HP if you are a ranger equipped with this particular uh, armor. Then the muscle pants, again, plus 3% to Jibaria damage, plus 20% resistance to Baramos, and then uh, plus 5 uh, to your max MP if you are a ranger. So um, with this Fukubiki, it doesn't say anything about 20 stamp, probably it's just going to be a standard 10. So, uh, but it looks like on the 3rd, 6th, and 10th, you're going to be able to have a uh, kind of like a, not necessarily a pickup, but you'll have a better chances of getting 5 star uh, gear. So actually going back real quick, you're also going to see that right here that the Conduct of Tomahawk is actually now available uh, to be uh, upgraded in the forge so uh, for more information you can look right here so uh, here uh, the main skills that are going to be uh, increased with the actual forge is going to be conduct the impact so with this uh, the power and then also the uh, MP cost is going to be increased so with conduct the impact before it did 300% uh, damage uh, uh, physical technique damage now it's going to do 360 physical technique damage and it's going to now cost 23 mp instead of 19 but the side effect of this particular uh weapon is that it can actually lower the attack power of an enemy so that's actually really good then you're going to have kombu rambu so um with this one the kombu rambu kai again going to increase the power and also the uh MP cost. So before it did 245% Jibadia physical technique damage to all enemies. So now it's actually going to be 280% uh, Jibadia physical technique damage to all enemies and now going to cost 31 MP instead of 24. Then on the third stage level, um, it's going to cost, um, not cost, but you'll be able to do 10% damage toward dragons. And then of course on the fourth, you're going to actually have um, your uh, special animation for when you use this in a mega monster battle. So uh, what's next is going to have uh, the main uh, stuff going on. So here, so now with this particular event, you're going to actually have uh, the story quest number two. You're going to have new stuff with the event portal. So that's going to be uh, pretty much getting stuff for the uh, God Mirror. So pretty much opening it up. Then that's going to actually lead to having uh, new tasks with um, the villagers of the area. So that's actually going to be getting you some extra stuff. Then here you're going to have the new elite enemy, so that's going to be the Jigoku no Kishi, so it looks like the Hell Knight. Then also you're going to have Conduct of Samahawk being able to uh, be upgraded in the Forge. Then on the 24th you're going to have Story Quest number 3, and then you're also again going to have some new stuff with the event portal, and new tasks as well from the people of uh, Japan. Then also you're going to, looks like you're going to have a new Mega Monster, so it looks like it's going to be a Yamato no Orochi uh, Mega Monster. So um, that's actually going to be uh, quite interesting. So most likely, again, 
going to be weak to uh, Dane damage. Then here you're also going to get a new Hokura. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be, but um, pretty much looks somewhat similar to Kokudos and uh, Skullgon. But uh, we'll see what happens uh, with next week. Then uh, possibly some other new stuff will be happening on as well. So uh, in terms of the event, uh, in terms of uh, what's new, so you're going to be able to collect, um, looks like the God Mirror Fragments. So with this, um, you're going to be able to collect these from various things, so very similar to the Magatamas. So um, you're going to be able to collect them from various places. But uh, one real quick thing, um, if you have not collected all the Magatamas, you will not be able to do this yet. So if you haven't collected all the Magatamas, please do so, and then you'll be able to actually do this. So uh, again, you're going to be able to have hints to find out where everything's going to go. So um, if you have trouble, um, please do that. So with that said, what I want to do is actually start this quest. So that's going to be in our event quest section, going to be right here. Right here, event quest. And this, again, this is going to be three chapters. So I'll most likely do chapter one in this particular video and then two and three in another video. So here we go.
and that completes Quest 2 Chapter 1. Okay, so now we have unlocked the actual uh, shards that you can get for the mirror. So uh, again, like I explained, collecting them will actually grant you special uh, rewards. And again, you can only uh, have access to this if you have collected all the Magatamas. Then here, if you're having trouble, you can look through here to look at the hints to see where they are. So again, like I just said, um, you need to actually collect all of the Magatamas in order to get this new part. So uh, please, if you haven't done that, uh, please do so. So with that said, I'm going to end this video here, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.